Hey there, kindergarten. Miss Hershey here with our fourth project for the third trimester, which is our hot air balloon drawing activity. So for this activity, I am going to use a mixture of Sharpie, marker, and crayon. You can use just crayon. You can use just marker. You don't have to have a Sharpie. I'm going to use one, but it's not required. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this hot air balloon. So we're going to start by kind of making a mark at the top of our hot air balloon, and that's with my Sharpie. And I'm gonna make a line that comes down. It's gonna curve and come down. And there's stuff on my table. There we go. Okay, maybe this next one will be smoother. Same thing on the other side. It's gonna curve the other way. And then I'm gonna do, this one's gonna curve around, and this one's gonna curve around. And that's just breaking our hot air balloon up into some different pieces. And hot air balloons are big strips of fabric sewn together that are different colors. So we're kind of creating those pieces. And then we're going to do a scallop line. So smile, smile. Across the front, smile, smile, smile. So remember, that's a scallop line. Our scallop line is all smiles. So I'm do that again. Smile, 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 smile. And we're gonna do just a couple of rows of those. And that's breaking our hot air balloon up into some different colors. Giving us sort of some lines to color, almost like we're creating our own coloring book. Then if you want to, you can give your basket some texture. Usually these are actually baskets. They're not anything fancy. They're just a woven basket. So I'm going to give mine just some cross hatching there. And hot air balloons are up in the sky. So I'm going to do another scallop, a curved scallop, like we did on our landscapes with our trees. I'm going to do a couple clouds around my hot air balloon. Okay, so that's really all you need to do as far as drawing and with the Sharpie. So we are going to move on to coloring. Like I said, you can use crayons, you can use markers, you can use colored pencils, you can really use whatever you want. I am going to start with a marker and I'm going to color my hot air balloon. So a good portion of the rest of this video is just me coloring. So you can either color along with me or you can fast forward to the end and see what it looks like. You do not have to copy my colors. You can do any colors that you want. to your choice. I am gonna do kind of a pattern. So I'm gonna go green, 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 green. And because it is spring and it's actually getting to be nicer weather, I'm gonna do bright spring colors on my hot air balloon. I think that's gonna be kind of where I want to go with this as far as color wise. So there's all my green. And then the next color I think I'm gonna do is gonna be this bright yellow, almost like a mustardy yellow. Slightly orange, but it's still considered a yellow. Maybe a yellow orange. And I wanna see best coloring on these. I don't want to see scribbling. I want to know that you took your time. Remember, your art time should be about 40 minutes per week. Um, sometimes we're a little bit less than that. And then sometimes I break our lessons up into two because we're going to be more than that. This one should be right around 40 minutes if you color it nicely. My video will not be 40 minutes long because I'm a little bit faster color than you guys, which is okay. So then after yellow, because this is an orange yellow, I think I'm going to skip. Any first graders who have not yet had their picture taken or who are not photographed in the fall can go to the gym at this time. To excuse me guys, I'm at the school and it is photo day here. Um, I'm going to skip orange because this is a yellowy orange and I'm going to go with pink. So I'm not doing a true rainbow. I'm doing just sort of my own version of the rainbow. Again, there's stuff under my paper. My desk is dirty here, my cart that I work on. And with each one of these, I'm actually having to color less, which is kind of nice. It goes a little faster. 
And I went out of the lines a little bit right there. That's okay. It happens. Not, no one's ever perfect. Not any art is ever going to be perfect. Okay, then next would be purple. I'm going to do a dark purple. And I do want to repeat myself, you do not have to color yours the same way I am. If you want to color your whole blue in one color, you can. I just thought that would be kind of boring to do, just coloring the whole, the same color over and over again. So I wanted to do a rainbow with mine. Okay, and then after purple, if we were doing more of a rainbow color, it would be blue. I'm going to do this light blue, kind of cornflower blue almost. And then I want one more color. I'm going to do a blue green because I like blue greens. So I'm going to come down now with my blue green. And I'm just coloring and that's pretty much what the rest of the video is going to be. This is just a big coloring project mostly. This is just so that I can kind of look at your work and see how good you are at coloring. We've done some coloring this year, a lot with crayon, um, on some of our watercolor paintings and our landscapes were both colored. Um, so we've done a good bit of coloring, so I just kind of want to see how well you guys are doing with it and that you've you know, grown as little artists and that you're getting better and that when I see you next year in first grade, you'll just be fantastic colorers, colorists colors. Fantastic at coloring. Where you want to say that. Okay. So now this is my last color in my pattern. So I'm going to repeat starting with my blue. I'm going to bring my blue down now. This is going to be a very blue colored hot air balloon in the end, which I should have not done because what color is my sky going to be? Blue. So I probably should have stayed away from some blue. So that's some advice. If you're coloring and you haven't used blue yet, maybe don't use too much of it because your sky will also be blue. All right, I'm gonna have a little bit more purple and then I'm done with the actual hot air balloon part. And then I've got my purple, okay. I want to do my ropes. Ropes would most likely be brown or maybe black. Do them brown, nice thick ropes. And then the basket, I do actually have this light brown in my marker set that I'm gonna do that's more of a color like you would think of a basket. So again, the point of this is I wanna see your best coloring. I want to see that you guys can do a good job adding color, making good color choices as far as what colors you're picking and using, um, just so I can see where you're at. So for the sky, I'm going to use crayon, and I'm just going to do a light coating of blue. I don't want I don't want you guys to have to color the whole paper super dark. That'd be way too much work. But I do want to see that you fill in your whole paper. You color right up against your balloon. You color right up against your clouds. These sequins just don't want to go away. So I usually go a little slower towards my edges so I don't wreck my paper. But it's going to be important when I look at these that I see that you did try your best and you did good coloring. That's really the point of this one. This is why I gave you an easy one this week. We've had some toughies these past couple weeks um, where you had to do a lot of your own work. The uh, Silly Monster Painting, that one was a lot of drawing work for you guys. The Shamrock, that one was a little bit hard as far as the cutting. So I'm really trying to give you guys an easy one, but still be able to show me that you can do a good job, even when I give you an easy project. A little glitter stuck on the back there. So I like to just kind of color around my objects, and then that makes it easier to do the rest. Oh my gosh, I've been coloring off the camera. I'm sorry, guys. So what I was just saying, I like to color around my objects. So I'm going all around these objects here. So I'm gonna color around here. 
slowly and then it makes it easier to fill in the rest. Okay, now if you want to, you can do a watercolor wash over your blue just to fill in that white and make your sky extra pretty, but you do not have to, I am not going to. But other than that, that's a nice simple one. Easy, quick, done coloring. Show me your best coloring on your hot air balloon. I can't wait to see what you guys send in. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to email me. Bye.